Okay, we are back in Battle for Wesnoth, Invasion from the Unknown, Cursed Plateau, Part 2. And as you can see, the situation is this. We are facing off against some dudes coming from the right, some purple enemies, and our objective is to reach the northwest corner of the map. With Gallus and Linde or Malkashar, we've got options. So there's a few things going on here. The main one is my bulk of troops are up here. Uh, we also have some troops coming up to reinforce. And down in this corner, we've got some ghosts. The ghosts have just defeated some bats, so they, or at least one of them, is going to go exploring down here. I'm going to send the one with less experience, who is also a bit wounded. Off you go. Alright, now we can see that down here is some sort of parchment. You head north. And then the job is to deal with the rest of these chaos troops. Now, um, skeletons are great against most of these guys. Um, cold damage, blade damage, they don't do much damage that really affects skeletons all that much, so I'm going to keep on recruiting the old skeletons. Um, what I do have to watch out for is what's coming from the north, because that's worse. So, let's see. What I really want to do is make some skeletons that I can afford to suicide. Quosor, maybe you, if you can kill this bat, uh, no, but it's not that likely to happen, so I'm going to leave you, and what I will need to do is Galas moves here, um, you skeleton archer come out here and get the kill, oh, come out here and fail to get the kill, you skeleton archer with a little bit of experience can hopefully finish the job. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now I can casually recruit some people. I'm gonna have some, I think, a regular skeleton and a skeleton archer. Now I'm not worried about money here. Um, long term my money is running out, but I don't get the picture that this scenario is gonna last forever. Especially since the northwest corner of the map is actually pretty close from here as the crow flies. But let's scout north and see what we run into. Because the, these guys will be reasonably held off by the troops who are already there. Um, I need to get Quosor out of the way so that he doesn't die. Um, but Malkashar is usually fairly good at just tanking some damage. So I'm going to gradually move people forward, and these blues can't reach that line. So Anlinde, you're quite fast. Well, Malkashar, you're fast too. You go one more up this way, and there we see we see some enemies. So we see a Zephyr, Demon Zephyr. Um, they're quite nasty. I want to keep them away from my skeletons in particular. They can also skirmish, and there's a crossbowman. So I'm actually going to retreat a little bit and let those units come to me. And hopefully Malkashar can take out at least the Zephyr without taking all that much damage. And as for you, if you stand... Hmm, yeah, if you stand there you'll be able to give that skeleton a bit of an advantage. Um, that does mean, however, that someone... Well, you go, you go there. Um, doesn't matter if you get hit a little bit by that Zephyr. Um, you can take it. There might be invisible units. That's the other thing that's worth noting. Um, we need to be careful of those. All right. So then you move up to here. You move up behind. You move up over here. And then you can move to... I need to get Gallus in to get that extra health. You just stay where you are, being too experienced, too health. You go there. 
And now we've got a Wraith coming up, and the Wraith is good against most things over here. So has everyone moved? Yes, it looks like it. We can proceed. Rip. Again. With the skeleton. See what I did there? Very clever. Malkashar not on his A game there. Now we see that um, for some inconceivable reason this Shadow Minion has decided to come in and attack closer and give him a level. Well, I'm not going to complain. Not going to complain about that. Okay, up here I want to start getting rid of these Chaos Invaders. And I can do that with archers who have leadership. So again, my Baron is going to be man of the match here, and then hopefully this other archer can finish the job. And then over here, hmm, this skeleton, who is currently pretty uninjured, can go and deal some damage to this crawler. The crawlers, they're nastier at range, but they're not really nasty against skeletons. Lovely. Okay, so now I need to figure out what I'm going to do up this end. First of all, Gallus, you're going to need to run back and get some more troops. Um, you might need to stay here for a while. I might actually leave you here, guarded by weak troops, and then everyone else can deal with the actually getting to the north of the map part of the mission. You know, the actual victory condition, no biggie. You, Death Baron, could run in here, um, just get some quick experience, there's quite a lot of damage, I'm not sure I really want to do that. Over here, you can get rid of that's an, what's a, another blue Chaos Invader doing up here? That's weird. Um, oh well. It's, it's all about the positioning now. It's about getting a position where no one's going to get suddenly and uh, unexpectedly killed. Because these units are up here, which means that they'll be able to reach the back of my ranks as well. So I'm going to put Malkashar there. And now, ooh, ooh, that's a hellhound. Now those guys are nasty as anything. We've got level three, we've got a blade attack that is berserk, and Melkashar cannot now move. That might have been the move that costs me the game. We shall see. Anyway, I don't want Melkashar to lose any health at this point. So someone else needs to get this kill. How about you? Um, now you could do it if you get lucky. Get a level two kill. Wouldn't wouldn't bring you a level quite. Um, but if even if you don't, uh, as long as you don't die, Malka Shark can finish it off. Or should I use this full health one? Yeah, I'm going to use the full health one. I'm going to hedge my bets a bit. Ah. Okay. What could have been worse? Malka Shark. It's always tricky to know what to do um, here. Now, if I get lucky here, I just need one hit out of four, and I can take him out with one and gain some health into the bargain. And I'll take less damage if I do that. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Alright, Malkashar's nearly on full health. If this Hellhound comes in, I should be able to fight it off. My only worry is if there are also some of those scary, annoying dudes around. Um, all right. What I really don't want is for anyone other than Malkashar to be attacked by the Hellhound, because the Hellhound is a beast. And maybe this this skeleton, that, that's this skeleton could stand being attacked by the Hellhound, that's fine. It'll probably die, um, but yeah, not too worried about that. Is that worth doing? Yeah, I think so. 
So then over here, I'm going to need someone... Kuoso, you... Come down here. And if you're lucky... Yes! Okay, we take this guy out as well. Um, it's only a brief reprieve, but it'll help us burn through these more powerful troops that are now coming down from the north. And you get the Shadow Minion. The Shadow Minion is no more. I'd love to move the healer up next to Malkashar. I'm not going to. And the reason is, if I do, the Hellhound will probably attack my healer instead, and I really don't want that to happen. I do have a bit of wiggle room over here, so I can move this ghost up and do a little bit of scouting. See, we can see some more. There's a bowman, we've got a crossbowman, which is probably placed in this square. He'll come out and attack Malkashar. Um, I'm not hugely worried by any of that. What I'm mostly worried about is this Hellhound, because if it gets lucky, it can do enough damage to Malkashar that he will be very vulnerable. So what I'm going to do is put this ghost next to him so that he can't be flanked. Or at least not without killing the ghost first. Ah, and there's a bat. That bat will come in. Alright, this ghost is probably dead meat, but that's fine. Um, you move up here. Um, you can come around, get into position for next time. There's another ghost that's moving up. And then finally, the ghost in the bottom left. Say hello to a piece of paper. It's an old parchment with a crudely drawn map on it. It appears to point to a location north from here. Not far away. Interesting. Alright, you can get back to the battle as soon as you're ready. And let's take some damage. Okay, Blue's attack fell weak. I wasn't too worried about Blue in the first place. But here comes Purple with the invisible creatures. Aha! See, the Hellhound is going for the skeleton. And it's having rather bad luck. Alright, now that Hellhound's not going to pose too much of a threat. Oi! Get away from my Dark Adept! Purple comes in with some absolutely beastly units there. I think I'm going to want to retreat. Yep. Full retreat, everyone. I do not want to fight these people in the middle of the ocean. What I would like to do is get that Hellhound out of the way so that it doesn't find one of my weak spellcasters and obliterate them. So I'll probably sacrifice someone in order to do that. Uh, this um, half health Dark Adept seems like a good bet. One zap, and that hellhound is gone. Um, shame to waste the experience like that, but um, uh, such is the way of things. Alright. Okay, now back up everyone else. Back right up. Can I clear a little bit of a path on this side? Is that wise? Come out from the castle a bit? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Okay. Because if I stand around here for too long, I'll be in trouble. Alright, skeletons, you do your thing. This skeleton out. Um, but 
it's also tempting to let the Death Baron get the kill, and that is what I will try to do. I'll try it with a crossbow. Alright, Mr. Death Baron is now very close to a level. Just have to make sure he doesn't die. And that is easier said than done. Now again, it's quite tempting to suicide this skeleton archer, or this skeleton archer, in order to take out the shadow minion, because the shadow minions are so annoying. Uh, and at least it will waste some of uh, Purple's troops. So I think that is probably the wisest course of action, and then I can bring some of these other skeletons out, standing in front. Well, that didn't work. Hmm. Galas, you come back and recruit some more troops. You come out and shoot the bat. Hopefully kill it, get lucky. Yeah, lucky. And then you come and stand somewhere where you can be annoying. Um, if, I, if I stand you, unfortunately these um, these troops who are coming down from the north are the kind of troops that will get to attack with no counter against my normal skeletons, so I need to bring out more archers in future. Either way, um, you get back, Alinde, you get back, Melkashar. Maybe not all the way back, might need, need you for defence. Um, but you definitely get back. Um, you get back. There's not many troops for me to actually defend with here, unfortunately. Which is why I'm saying that Malkashar might be best off in the front line, at least for now. Okay, I'll put this ghost here so that the ghost gets experience when the Death Baron is next to it. And I'll put Malkashar... over here. And, and actually you and Linda can come up here. Heal Malkashar. And this skeleton, you for now just stay in the background and I will recruit more skeleton archers. What I need, I mean eventually I'm hoping that Purple is going to run out of money, or at least run out of money enough to create level 3 units, because I don't want them floating around for too long. Um, and if that happens I can push forward and get to the northwest corner of the map. It's actually quite a fair way northwards of what we can see, so it might be that uh, the rest will have to fight a rearguard while that happens. Alright, Gallas, you go and get some more health. And I think... Ah oh yes, you. You run up. Actually, I don't usually like using the auto move function, but I'm just going to set you to move up in the background and join the rest of my troops. And you'll do that automatically now. Okay, let's see what happens. That was expected. Right, they really want to kill that skeleton, that's fine by me. Oh, that skeleton. Are there more of those? There aren't! But there are more level 2 Zephyrs. Oh man, these purple troops. Such a huge pain in the ass. And they're skirmishers, so I cannot leave. I cannot leave a single hole in my battle line, otherwise I will get smashed. All right, what am I going to do? Blue, it looks like blue has actually stopped sending troops my way. That's good. At least what I'm going to say is, you go here. You can I get you to level up? 
it's possible if you're next to the archer and then I can stick a couple of other skeletons in the way all right go go okay now that should be two hits from my death baron in order to get a level there we go and now we've got a death knight who's a level three unit with leadership and that may be what i need to turn my fortunes around alternatively I could just get brutalized now, we shall see. I'm actually going to attack the Zephyr because the Zephyr is much, much scarier in terms of the damage it can do than this Psycrawler. So I'm going to bring that forward in front of the Death Knight and try and do damage. Unfortunately, demons just have amazing defense on pretty basically any terrain. Um, demons, like I say, I don't like demons, they're OP. But uh, I guess they should be scary, they're from another realm of existence after all. That's what you get for 50% defense on sand. If I go in with an archer, um, the archers will get pulverized. The Galas, go back to your square. Archers, what, what do you want to be doing? One of you could come out here and attack this crawler. That would at least free me up some space, and it would save the Death Knight from getting attacked next turn. I'll do that. And then on this side of things, once again, going to need to be a little bit careful because I don't have all that many troops left. I'm just going to, I think, maybe even just bring the archer out but not actually attack with it because then it will be on full health when it has to defend. Um, this ghost can come home. Well, hmm, can it? I don't want anyone. If there's a gap here and all of these all of these can get in it. What about you? How are you on sand? You're bad on sand, and I don't want you on the front lines. These heavy longbowmen. 98 health for a level 3 unit. Five attacks. That is just insane. I'm gonna have to figure out some way of killing you. I think it will probably involve Malkashar. But uh, still, easier said than done. So maybe the play is just to move you down and allow you to be killed because at the end of the day I'm not too invested in your survival. That said, if I lose too many of these archers it's going to get messy because I, I can only produce two per turn and speaking of... Should I get a skeleton? Um, yeah, all right. I don't want to put anyone else here because no one else is. Everyone else is either less expendable or maybe Malkashar. But if Malkashar gets shot up too much, that won't be great. Um, he's currently on tracks oh yeah okay i'll just move this ghost and this ghost that means that ghost will probably die but then there'll be a couple of units within range that weren't within range before and you just move up to there and that should mean that everyone is in a good place next time around you can move on to the path and finally you yep you've moved all right good uh, can you move up and get some more health yeah if you step back Gallus, if you step forward, and you'll be next to the shine, and you'll be on full health next turn, assuming no one breaks through my line, which they might do, because there are an awful lot of fireball-throwing Zephyrs around here. Oh, fingers crossed. why I hate these guys. And I was the ghost as well. Yeah. Rip.
Ghost moves up. Now it looks like purple is now sending in some weaker troops, and I'm just hoping that means that purple has um, run out of juice a little bit. Um, well, these two can't get in, so this, I think, right now is the time to strike. Um, unfortunately, the weather seems to be weird in this plateau, so that it's always night time, so my elves are never quite as effective as they could be. Um, yeah, all right. You first things first. Let's get this Death Knight, this um, Zephyr, Zithzenia, out of my face. Nice work, Mr. Death Knight. And we can hopefully do the same to this one here. Three hits. Three hits. Ah, oh, that's right. <clears throat> Okay, so who wants to be on the front line? That should probably be Anaini. Hmm. <sighs> These Chaos Heavy Longwomen are just so tanky, it's unreal. Malkeshar, what I need you to do, and I don't know if they're at a game, there might just be invisible creatures flying around here in the background. Um, it's quite a psychological scenario. Um, what I need you to do is take out this Zephyr, and on the very for the off chance that you fail, I'm going to move you out one. Alright, so Malzephet, Mal, Malzephet, Malkeshar took a lot of damage there, but it doesn't matter because he leveled. He got an after maximum level advancement, and that means that um, he can take a bit more punishment in future. So, where was I? I could even. <sighs> Bit of a risk, but. 47. It wouldn't be on. Wouldn't quite be on full health, the uh, the Dark Adept, if it manages to take out this, this Zephyr. Um, wouldn't quite be on, on full. on enough experience to level, so if someone attacks it, it might just die. And I, actually, I think I can probably find a way of getting this Dark Adept to a higher level, so instead I'm going to just do the obvious move here, I think, and just go for the kill with this normal skeleton. And I'm going to miss with all of my attacks. Great. Okay, well, at least one of those skeletons will die next turn. Well, I'm running out here. I could run out once Galas has done some recruitment, I could run out with him. And up here, these troops aren't quite fast enough to reach me, so I'm actually in a good position here right now to, to deal some damage. How much damage is Anlinde going to do to this, this thing? A lot, but is also going to take damage in return. At this particular point in the battle, I think that is worth it. Enemy unit sighted, um, not the invisible ones. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. <clears throat> uh, so you, Quosaur... See, these Psy Crawlers, they're actually very nasty against elves, so I feel like I kind of ought to clean them up before I come out here with anyone else. Um, especially given just how powerful this Chaos Heavy Longbowman, Longbowman is. I think I'm going to try and kill everyone except the Longbowman, and then hope that the Longbowman doesn't manage to deal too much damage to the rest of my dudes. Alright, cool. So then you need to stand here. Get some slashes in, get some big heavy slashes in. Can I use someone else for this? What about... no, you can't. You, you don't have what it takes. Yeah, see now that's really bad. That means that Quosor might well die, since this Zephyr's still alive. The Wraith is powerful enough that it could just stand here on the front lines and attack, I think. Unless there are invisible creatures, and again, I just don't know. I just don't know. 
so I'm going to do that. Or shall I instead send an archer around? If I can distract enemies with archers, then that tends to be all to the good. So I'll do that, um, and then this archer will die, but that's fine. I actually need these archers to die, because I need my economy to be reasonable. Um, now, I don't need the wraith now to go out there. Though maybe the wraith could go, should go out there anyway. Yeah, okay. Um, wraith, do some wailing damage. And now that guy's on one health, which means that my Dark Adept can finish the job. Right, how about you? Oh, this guy's so powerful! Um, could even kill, but, uh, ah, but no, but if my ghost survives, then it will instantly level up from fighting. That, at least, is quite nice. So, first of all... <clears throat> I'm just going to sacrifice this one too. Absolutely no gain whatsoever. That was pitiful. And now you. Unfortunately, the Death Baron isn't quite adjacent to you. Um, you now come in. Can I save? Can I save Quosor? I don't think I can save Quosor. I think unless I. Yeah, no, un unless I use Sothenia to slow, and if I do that, I'm almost certainly going to lose Sothenia instead, or potentially even as well. I should have recruited another Shaman. Okay, I'm going to recruit an Archer. And a Shaman. Because slowing would be a heck of a useful thing to be able to do around, around about now. Um, but instead, the archer can go for it, the ghost can go for it, get three experience and level up. Oh, we see someone else coming, we see, oh no, it's a Chaos Invader, okay, not worried about you so much. No! Ooh, that was close. Alright, Wraith it is. Like I say, shadows are handy, um, and they might end up being particularly handy if I want to push on ahead, but... Uh, in general, wraiths are just by far the more versatile unit, so I prefer wraiths. Okay, you go here and uh, take uh, and heal up Anlinde next time. Galas, you stay where you are. The ghost has moved down there. And now I uh, think it might be time to say goodbye to my poor old champion. Quosor wasn't just any old champion, he was the fighter I hired at the beginning of the game, so that is an incredibly frustrating loss. Okay. Can you... Rothea the Shaman... Just come in here and whack this Zephyr. One hit, one hit's all it takes. <laughs> hey, yes! Now... You, you absolute bastard, you are going down. My death knight is going to lay into you. That also could have been more effective. Um, Keshar, is it you who should be finishing the job? It would also be good if you could push forward. But I don't want you to get into a position where you're going to be chopped into shreds by Chaos Invaders. Um, and that's an extra reason why actually you should come down here and do this. Or maybe some of these archers should. Oh, it's hard to say. Um, what about you? Almost, almost, but it's very likely you'd die if you took the hit. 
So you, you come down here, and you may die in return. But if you do, that is okay. Maybe even you, you're on even less health. Yeah. Down you go. And you're close to being in a place where my Dark Adept could kill you in one hit, but you are not quite there yet. So I think someone else is going to have to deal with this, and I think that someone else is going to be this skeleton. Ready for 24 experience, I hope, my friend? That was always a possibility too. All right, now, now, the dark experience, the dark experience, what the flip am I talking about? Um, now the dark adepts can try it. There we go, and now we've got ourselves a dark sorceress. So now it's about pushing out, and it's about fighting back these slightly weaker units that have stepped up to the plate. Um, I do want to protect my Death Knight, because the Death Knights are just so useful. So, won't move forward too fast. Instead, I'll allow you to deal some damage. Um, someone else can get the kill. Maybe this Wraith. Over here we can see a green psych wall. I think the green units don't move, they're really only there to defend, and I don't think there's really any benefit in trying to squeeze through this hole. If I do, I'm just going to get swarmed with weak units, and my objective is to get to the northwest. <laughs> Alright, now that road is clear. Um, I think the next step is for Malkeshar to take on at least one of these units. And then this skeleton can move up. Deal a little more damage. Now you cannot reach... Right now, none of you can reach the Dark Sorceress, and that's good, because I do not want the Dark Sorceress to die. In fact, maybe... Maybe the best course of action here is actually to send this Wraith in. Yeah. It seems risky, but... The gain is great, and I'm going to try and do it in such a way that I don't lose any health. There we go, beautiful. Right, now everyone will have to fight this line of units here. Um, and unless you've got sneaky, invisible people, which you might do, then I think all is well. More elvish, more skeleton archers needed. And it might even almost be the point where I can actually move these skeleton archers and I can actually stop creating them. <laughs> Who knows? Either way, Galas, you can move up so you're a little bit nearer the action. You're following slowly. Good. Your loss was expected. Coil damage against the Wraith, that's pretty lol. Alright, now this is looking like a much stronger strategic position. I am going to take advantage of this and just move forward and kill everyone. Send someone over this way to run interference against this headhunter. Maybe one of these skeleton archers. And otherwise, just go, go, go. How much damage will you do against the demons? Reasonable amounts, if you actually hit. The demon grunt is the only thing that even remotely worries me here. Um, so I think that means the best bet is to take it out with Malkishar, and I will do so. Right, everyone else. Oh. 
good. Necromancer can get that kill. <laughs> they wants me to do it with the staff because if I do it with the staff, oh no, I won't even. I won't even. The necromancers, if you kill someone with melee, then you get a zombie. Uh, this guy doesn't, but I guess the only reason he wants me to use the staff is I'll get more attacks. So chill wave, and then someone else can get it if you don't. Perfect, beautiful, wonderful. Uh, now my two wraiths. What I want you to do is deal with this psy crawler. The sound of those guys dying is music to my ears. Alright, you go and stand there. You can't quite block this skirmisher, but you can cause it to be less annoying. And we shall proceed. Um, I'm still paranoid about invisible units popping out of nowhere. That's okay. Galas also is pretty close to a maximum level of advancement. That's great. Uh, you, my leveled shaman, you might be quite handy. Um, you're going to get healed anyway, so I'm going to move you up to here. And then, on the... yeah. No, you go there, and then the skeleton will get some healing too. You two, my skeleton archer nameless buddies, you come here. You've reached your spot, so you can now join up with the rest of my army, for all the use it will do me. Go, go, go! Good. Uh, see if you can pull off the double whammy. Yes, alright. Shaman gets experience. Um, all my powerful units should now just plow on. How fast are you? Not very, okay, good. Um, scout with a wraith. What do I see? Oh, that's just a, that's just a normal chaos invader. I'm not scared of you. And a scorpion and another chaos invader. Well, okay, fine, whatever. up here is another headhunter, but it looks like it's a guarding headhunter, so it won't come out unless I go up there. At least we can hope, we can dream. Galas, you come up here and sit in the tower. You shoot the headhunter. And then you, I don't want you sneaking around doing anything too irritating, so I'm going to try and kill you. <coughs> Jobs are good un. And then finally... No, it doesn't matter if I move you up onto that sandy square. And no, I'll put you here, because I don't want you to die. And then one of these skeletons can move up here, the other one can go there. This ghost can join the fun, and we can progress to the north, or try to. And there's another castle here where I can, where I can recruit. That's handy. Now I need to send someone over this way because I need to somewhat send someone to check out 
what what that uh, what that parchment told me. Okay, this scorpion is a suck of a punishment, clearly. Everyone else power forward. You, uh, you go over here. Looks like there's a nice cave. If you go there, the Chaos Warrior can't reach you. Um, you folks come up here. I need you more up this way. One of you can come and shoot this invader. Or miss this invader, more accurately. Um, so I think now my best bet for this round is to send this Wraith in just to block him, basically. Or maybe the ghost can do the job. Yeah, you've not done anything useful so far. You do the blocking. <laughs> if you get in on this action, that will lure this headhunter out. That might not be a bad thing either, because then I can kill it with my units that are coming up the back. Okay, damage output not the greatest, never mind. Carlos, you stand over here. And then you come up over here just in case anyone else gets hurt. And the two of you can come up behind. So alright, this is looking good. Northwestern edge of the map, not too far away. Do I want to move with this wraith as well? Yeah, why not? Do a bit of scouting. Haven't discovered anything useful, but that's okay. Head to Get the full move down on Keshar, why don't you? I think now the best play is you come back here, you go there, you now come in for shooting, and miss with all of your attacks, and you finish the job, which means that you can now do the drainy thing, and there's another one of those guys up there, that's fine. No harm, no foul. Whatever that means. <laughs> this lady is badass. Except that now she misses. But I can take that. Necromancer, you deal. You go and explore down here. And now there's another Chaos Invader up here, and that Chaos Invader can really do what it likes, can't it? In fact, no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lure both of them out at once. I do want to proceed cautiously. So I just want to move Kashar onto this spot, because he'll have better defense there. You go there. Gallus, you come around here. And you just nudge up one. And we'll push forward next time.
what can I see? I can see an invoker. All right, fine, whatever. Headhunters are annoyingly effective against my skeleton archers. This metal gate glimmers with a magical force that will not let me force it open. There are two keyholes on it. Should we search for the keys? On the other hand, I can hear strange sounds coming from below. So we should just leave it be. Oh dear. If those two keyholes are keyholes that are going to involve me defeating both of the enemy leaders, then I think it's probably not worth the effort. I should probably just nope out and get the money, I think. I wonder what manner of hideous creature those miscreants might be keeping inside. Perhaps it's worth investigating. Either way, I'm going to need the keys before I can do anything more with that, so I'm going to come back. Yeah, like I said, pretty sure I've never played this scenario before, otherwise I would seems like the kind of thing I would remember. You come round, you try and get a double wave. Yeah, there we go. Um, and now you can be... You're strong, you're dexterous. You could be either of these, um, honestly. I think it might not be a bad idea for you to be a druid, because, you know, you can always use more druids, and they do tend to be a bit squishy. Oh, I can't believe I lost my champion earlier on. What nonsense. Scout, scout, scout. Okay, these two units here. Malka Shah, you run along. Now you will get zapped by this invoker, but that's fine because it's only one invoker. What I don't want is for this headhunter, is for the invoker to hit anyone other than Malka Shah because they're all substantially weaker. Maybe Anlinde would have been a better choice to tank that, but uh, too late now. And you move on. All my weakened skeletons back here. See what I mean about them being squishy? And purple is sending a psycho all on my way. And the Magus hasn't even moved. I keep calling them Magi. They are invokers. Alright, and Linde. This stuff is not very effective against you, but I want to scout first and see if anyone is coming. No, good, okay. Perfection itself. Alright, you run up here, get the kill. Get yourself battered in the process, that's also fine. Um, ghost, you see if you can get this kill. You can't, well that's okay. Uh, but you can now move up here. And you should. Likewise. Everyone move forward. Gallus is almost at the castle. And 
Malkasha can do this one. Perfect. And up here we've got Chaos Bowman. Um, now that is a little bit more difficult to deal with, but not much. Malkashar should be able to pound it into the ground. In fact, I'm even tempted to have it come out here, take some attacks from the... Uh, from... yeah, if it's out in the middle there, it's vulnerable. Overall moves. Um, you are, maybe I ought to have just sent you back to run interference. Oh well. Yep, none of that concerns me greatly. I'm uh, mostly just worried about this ghost because I don't want it to die because it's now got quite a lot of experience. So I'm going to send this archer back. And then press on with everyone else. So you... Are two hits, you'd be able to do it. be able to do it in one with the staff great you're nearly at the s Ooh, if you level up I get the choice of making you a lich or a necromancer but let's not count our count our cherries before they hatch that's not the phrase um, the bat is coming uh, the bat can just fight Malkashar, and so can this, and so can this bowman. Everyone can fight Malkashar. That's pretty much the motto of this campaign, I think. old mal but uh, all it means is that my sorceress can hopefully get some more xp it is nice in this scenario and in this campaign in general to just have two magical level four battering rams that can just waste anything You have to be a bit careful with them, because occasionally you see dudes like this dude. Um, and I think what I want to do is stay a little bit out of range. In fact, maybe even stay there, get some health. And then this blue trooper can come out, um, and I can attack him next turn, do my thing. explore down here. And so, another purple invader. That's fine. And this actually, this is just a wall. There's nothing there. I thought there'd be someone there. Something there. And, wow, okay, a Zephyr. Right, there's more troops here for sure. Um, take me a few turns to fight through this cluster. Ugh. 
This camp is nice. It means that my income isn't quite as pathetic as it would otherwise be. Move forward. You can just about get in there. Will you die? Ah, there is a Zephyr. I could always block the Zephyr with the Wraith, and then the Wraith will probably die. I feel like that's better than getting people... Oh, but you're quite slow in this. You're quite slow in the caves. Interesting. Alright. But you're, you are going to come in and, um, and attack my... My sorceress. I will allow this. And I will... Just heal up Melkashar a little bit more. For now. And then next turn we can dish out some punishment. Now it's time for Malkashar. Just push forward just a little bit. I think I might need you because, well, hmm, maybe not, maybe not. Yeah, no one else has the oomph to take out a Doom Guard, unfortunately. And in fact, even you don't have the oomph to take out a Doom Guard, so and Linde will have to finish the job. Now again, if I move anyone forward here, they'll get attacked by both this Zephyr and the Doom Guard, so it's probably the right call to stay where I am right now and get some healing in. Yes, the northwest corner of the map was further away than I thought it would be. Ah, going for the old suicide strategy. This is the point where I'm going to have to be careful. Malkashar cannot reach the Zephyr, but the Wraiths can, or at least one of them can. How much damage can you do in one go? Not enough to avoid being fireballed to death next turn. Still. It's push forward now or never, I feel. I didn't know what hit him. Oh, 
<laughs> this bat. Why won't you die? You can even get in and attack the attack the Zephyr. I should use you for this. There we go. You two can attack Malkashar, I'm not worried about that. If you stand here, then the Zephyr and the, the Zephyr can't kill you with the fireball. Yeah, you do that. And the <sighs> There's a bat, that's fine. There's more enemies down here. Oh, this is blue again, isn't it? And this ghost. Can in the meantime can can you get out? Yes you can. Oh that's that's very irritating. Well, you go and stand there and just hope that you don't get hit enough to die. And if you do, well, it's easy enough to get a Ghost 225 experience. Who'd have thought it? Mal Keshar eating bats for breakfast. Bat crackle and pop. Yeah, I know you don't come to my uh, videos for dad jokes. I'm sorry, I'll do better next time. Keshar to deal with this Zephyr, just because everyone else is so flippin' nasty. Um, well, let's see if this ghost can... no, the ghost and the Baneblade, they haven't got it between them, have they? So I'm going to attack you. And now you can be... Uh, either a Wraith or a Shadow. Um, if you're a Shadow in this situation, you'll probably die straight away. So, Wraith. You come around here. Ooh, it's another Zephyr! I'm probably overly scared of Zephyrs, but maybe you get why by now. Malkashar's the only one who can realistically deal with it. <laughs> At least easily. And now you... get that kill. Keep up the experience work, my friends. And now I need to get someone in position. And Linda, you'll do. And now you're very close. If you can take out this Zephyr, in fact, you'll be at another level. Now I can lure the Zephyr out with a weak skeleton. Stick the Death Knight behind for some extra damage.
Getting closer. Gonna try and make doubly sure that this bat is done for. Oh, you can't reach. Oh, that's annoying. Um, three wraiths on a bat. Three wraiths on a bat seem like overkill. We'll see. Yeah. Get the gold. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That looks tasty. That looks very tasty indeed. Maybe I should go down there after all. Might as well with the wraiths. They're not going to be doing anything else for a little while. Once again, Death Knight up front, Skeleton Archer in front of that, and now it looks like we might be at Purple's Castle. Who is Purple, and why have they been pestering me for so long? The mystery will shortly be resolved. But I'm going to keep one wraith up here ahead, just in case. Ah, there's Purple. Purple is the person who talked earlier on. Isiliol, the Shadow Courier. Um, now these guys, while they are nasty, are a lot less nasty than those annoying level 3 shooty people. Um, they have the obscure effect which means that everything is dark around them. Um, but since everything's dark anyway, it doesn't make any difference. So we'll move forward, and we will fight whatever comes. You head down there, towards that gold. Yeah, and you can grab it. Excellent. Ah, I feel like maybe I should have investigated this door now. Still, too late to turn back at this point. As per usual, Malkashar, you march out in front. You! You dare step on sacred soil! You sh shall pay dearly for this t transgression, unworthy heathens! Not if we take you out first! Now, this guy could dish out the beatdown to Malkashar. He's pretty tough. So... Would be good to have some people in place to heal him. And if you want... You know, you can take out this skeleton instead. That is absolutely fine by me. Then in the meantime, everyone else, get into position. You can go there. You can go... How can you go? You can go there. You can go there. You can go up here, in fact. Ooh, enemies. Okay. Good thing I spotted you. There's some more gold and a bat sitting on it. I'm going to just head up here, block the bat from getting out any further. The bat can take on the wraith, and this guy can come out. And then I think we're good to keep going. Let's roll. Ha ha, lured you out. And you. Alright, I mean this guy is powerful, but he is no Malkashar. Still, he could actually take out Malkashar in one hit. Um, that's nasty. That's very nasty. Maybe I should weaken him before doing that. How about Anne Linde? You're quite strong against... 
Yeah, that's not nearly as scary, the infernal chill attack. You do that. So now you're almost dead, which means... that I can gift the kill to my lovely dark sorceress, who will go immediately up. No! My... my project! Incomplete! Forgive me, Yorin. What is this? It looks like he was carrying a key. Rusted key. Alright, that would be the key to the uh, door that I am now really rather too late to go down. Now, you can either become a lich or a necromancer. Both have their pluses. The necromancers are tougher. Um, the, the lich does a bit more damage, um, has the submerge ability and all of the undead trait abilities, such as not being poisonable. And I think that is what's going to swing it for me. So I'm going to have my first lich. And it's a quick and resilient lich, which is actually a great combination. All right, first order of business, prevent um, Anlindo from being immediately killed by the units that are now standing in front of her. First things first, Kashar, you go down there. And then just in case anyone else is around, you go up there. And that, I think, should block off most angles. Just in case it doesn't, you can go and grab this house. Alright, anyone invisible around? No, hope not. Okay. You grab the gold. 40 pieces of gold! I'm in the money. You run forward, don't need to recruit anyone, but um, might as well go that far forward, I guess. Why not? You run forward also to stand in front of Anlinde and heal her. Everyone else just power on onwards, onwards and upwards. And I'm getting a small positive gold income now. pieces of gold. Oh yeah! Finally, let's try out my new lich. Road test. Very nice. You've even left this unit on one health so that my troops can finish the job. Bats! Many bats. Okay. You go here and finish. Fantastic. Should have dealt with the blue when I had the chance. Now they're all going to suicide on Galas, aren't they? Except this one because it's too tough to be suicide.
or bats. And look, 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 we can see the sunlight. Oh, what a glorious sight. Looks like everyone is almost through the caves. so very close to a level. Ah, and we see the bright light of day. Everyone onward. Don't worry about healing. Healing's for losers. Except you. You, you worry about healing. I think everyone played their part here, which is pretty good, even these skeletons. Whoa, the view here is amazing. You all have to see this. What can we see, Galas? Green, green as far as the eye can see. Still need to get you to the top north corner. I like the way that she retains her name, even though she's a lich. I'm not sure I've had a female lich before. No key though, no, no second key. Oh well. here a bit. Mountains. All blocked off. Yeah, it would be nice if that passageway opened. Maybe it does. Maybe that's what happens when you open that gate and to uh, fight whatever's down here. We will never know. Uh, I'd like to be able to just get everyone out of the cave. I'm not going to be able to quite manage it. One of these skeletons is going to be still in there. You stand in the gateway, you stand next to the cave exit at least. You can maybe, yeah, whatever. And then, Galas, off you go. Are we done exploring this region? Yes, we are. Everything in the distance seems so lush and alive. It's beautiful. Do we really need to find those two heroes to forge a new future for our race? Perhaps there is another option. We could find the ocean and sail towards the horizon, and then... No matter how far away we get from this continent, it will only be a matter of time before the Chaos Empire extends its reaches and wages genocide on us again. Our descendants would not be particularly accepting of our decision, knowing that we have the choice to prevent their downfall. I know. It was just wishful thinking. Let us continue and find that value. Boom. So, no carryover gold, interestingly, in this scenario. Um, so, I could have used those other 18 turns to actually explore that cave. And maybe that is what I should have done. Should have just hung around down there. Well, if I ever replay this scenario, I will know what to do. For now, that's it. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.